Hi everyone, uh, my name is Emily and this is Ashley with me here today and we're the engineering chicks and we were tasked to take a random number generator that was given to us in our textbook and alter it with these parameters given here and this is the code that we've come up with. So as you can see here is our main random number generator going on right here and then just to see the we were supposed to get the period out of this random number generator and compare that to the theory and just make sure that it holds up and that it's true. And so as you can see, um, here's just a simple if statement to say if the um, x sub i, the one that's randomly generated, equals 1, then um, it's going to output where it is in our loop. So it'll just output the period in which it starts to repeat itself. So we're going to run our first uh, iteration with this, um, these parameters right here. Okay, and Ashley's going to take away and tell you what we got. Okay, so when we ran this, it told us that our period here is 60. So that means every 60 um, random number iterations, it starts to repeat itself. Um, and we know that this is right because we correctly tr chose our um, these initial starting variables and this this is all based on this theory up here um, let's see so this came from our textbook um, so I'm just gonna read it for you uh, it says there's some number theory results that help you choose a C and M and a full period M is obtained if and only if C and M are relatively prime uh, which they are um, and the greatest common divisor of C and M is 1. Also, A minus 1 is a multiple of Q for every prime factor Q of M, and A minus 1 is a multiple of 4 if M is. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and run the second part of the code, and the only difference here is the value of A. So before I think it was 7, and then down here it's 49. Okay, so this time the period is 30, um, so the value of A does have an effect on the, on the period. Um, so that, that's the only difference here, is it, it comes up with the period is 30 this time. So why this is giving us three answers this time is because um, N is 100, so every 30 iterations it prints out where it starts repeating so that's why we have 30 60 and 90 um, and this also holds up to this theorem up here uh, for the periods so that's all we have for you today thanks for watching